All right, folks. So I am I am joined by Jenna and Eric, and they have just launched their YouTube channel. They're team drivers at Prime Inc., and they just launched a YouTube channel called Driver Lineup. How are you guys doing today? Getting ready to roll, man. We're headed out tomorrow morning, so today's hurry up and load the truck, laundry, put chains on the truck. Busy, busy day. Oh, man, it wasn't like that for me. It was the last day was always like, oh, crap, I got to leave tomorrow. Let me lay around and do nothing and then try to <laughs> try to get it all done in 30 minutes in the morning before it was time to leave. So, I'm not going to I'm not going to try and say that that doesn't end up being the case for us. as well. <laughs> nice. All right. So you guys are a team at Prime and obviously you're a couple as well. How's that going for you? Because you trained Jenna, didn't you? I did, yeah, and she she was on the truck um, before, long before we even decided that she was going to drive. Um, so it wasn't a very difficult transition for her. I I was out solo, um, and I got in a conversation with my fleet manager, uh, and somehow it came up that she should drive. So I called her and said, "Hey, you interested in driving? And just don't don't take what I think into account. Just tell me from your perspective, your opinion. <laughs> are you interested in driving a truck?" And she responded and said yes, and it, I think it was text message. And uh, she was on the phone with a recruiter like three hours later. So, <laughs> oh wow! And so here we are. And now, yeah. How long have you? How long have you been out of training? It's been a while, right? You guys have been like a full blown team for at least six months that I can think of. Yeah. Yeah, it it's uh, November is when I uh, got my CDL. Okay, so. so so almost a year, and you guys yeah, haven't killed we each were, other. And you guys haven't killed it, each other. No, we, we weren't in any hurry either. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, most students, they, they want to bust out the miles and get out of TNT as fast as possible. But for us, it didn't matter because all the truck, all the money comes to the truck. Correct. You know, makes a big difference. Yeah. 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 So, so we weren't in any hurry. Yeah, it makes a big difference when you're not you're not trying to get to your next student when your student yep. is your future. So that, that, that always helps. Um, so yep. you guys at Prime Inc., you've been there. Eric, you've been there, what, two years? Two years almost, yeah. Yeah, so congratulations on that. Um, that's a feat, man. A lot of people don't make it. You know, a lot of people move on to other places or do other things. So, not only did you stay, you brought Jenna on board with you. So, and I think you guys will do good. I always say, I think, I think couples teams can and trainers can make a million dollars at Prime in ten years. I mean, I, I truly believe that. I, I think you can do that. I think you can bank a million dollars in ten years. If you do it right. Now you guys have a house at home and stuff, so that's a little different. You have some bills. So so it might take you a little longer, but I think it's more than possible to be done. All right, yeah, absolutely. And I, I think um now we run our truck a lot differently. Um if if you recall right after you left Prime, you did a video, I think you were on a beach somewhere talking about how you have to be really careful right and the money can be seductive yes yes and, it can it could be a what, what do they call that a, suc a succubus yes <laughs> and, and uh you know we have lives we don't we don't run we're, we're just we're de some team trucks they just they run hard all the time yeah they do we yeah, can't do, do yeah. I, I mean you know people think that you're a couple trucking so you're going to be sitting at internet cafes you know having coffee all it's not like that. When she's driving, I'm trying to sleep. You know, when I'm driving, she's trying to sleep. That's so. For us, we we try to stay around that 4,500 to 5,000 miles a week. Anything over and, that, you don't have a life. And that's so know. doable. And people don't realize it. I mean, like, like 350 miles a piece per day is like super yeah. doable. And you can still spend time with each other, and you're not completely drained all the time. And so, Absolutely. Yeah. We're, so yeah, we're if you can stay in that range, man, and still make a good living, shh, that absolutely that's the way to do it. Seven hundred, eight hundred miles a day. That's that's where we want our truck. Now, of course, our fleet manager and Prime would prefer that to be a lot more. <laughs> yeah, they prefer that's to be a like thousand a day when they need it, and, and yeah. two hundred when they don't. But yeah, I mean that's that's just part of it. Now, what you've done is you guys just start launched your own channel. So originally, Eric was going, Eric and Jenna were going to do some videos for me, but they went ahead and launched their own channel because I've been doing gaming on my channel, right? So my crowd is changing. I have a different kind of crowd coming in. They've launched their own channel called Driver Lineup, and it's not just a channel. You also have a blog, uh, a Driver Lineup blog on a website, I believe, right? Correct? DriverLineup.com, yep. Yeah, so DriverLineup.com, and it's – it's uh, all right, so it's a, it's a place for prime drivers to kind of gather, right? It's, and it's – what I like about it is you kind of – 
are definitely trying to keep track of it and make sure it doesn't turn into like a, a bitch session for lack of a better term yeah yeah yeah, yeah so absolutely we, we had a full uh we actually have a full social app i mean it, it's amazing it, it's facebook twitter all that rolled into one we had 115 prime drivers on it it's just that it wasn't it wasn't we weren't quite ready for it it you know we were learning how to manage it so we're going to roll that out in the near future um and that that really is the objective because you know the prime app you're familiar with the prime app it's amazing oh, yeah. yeah it is it's cool. uh, and it just gets better and better but there's still not a real coherent way for prime drivers to communicate and collaborate with each other correct and, that was, and, and that's that man it's i thought about this dude it's, that's such a wonderful idea to put everybody together who's going through the same thing experiencing the same stuff and allowing them to lean on each other you know i, yes. I don't know how many times I see people ask, you know, hey, does anybody know the yard code for Springfield? Or does anybody know the terminal, you know, the, the drop code? And so, or, hey, my reefer's kicking off code, you know, 350 or something, you know, does anybody know what that means? And so to have some place for them to gather and get that information from each other, to, to lean on each other and help each other, man, that is a huge deal. So yeah. I, I'm, I'm really happy to see someone launch something like that. And I look forward to watching it grow. I think it's going to be really, really big. And, you know, so. with part of that is you guys have launched this channel and to share your journey out there on the highway. Yeah. And I think, uh, well, first of all, I hope you're right on the app. Um, you know, and some people will say there's Facebook, but Facebook's a mess. You know, I mean, I don't even have a Facebook profile. I literally have no yep. Facebook. I know it's unheard of, but I don't have can't log into it sometimes i'll use hers just to look at the prime groups but it's a mess you can't easily find things there so yeah i hope so but on the on the youtube channel um you know i think i don't i actually said in my first video i hope not to be redundant because there's a lot of good prime channels out there a lot of good prime content but um I, like i said we run our truck a little bit different and, uh, and i hope we can bring that perspective to it we're not just out there running and gunning all the time. And it's not just about the money for us. You know, we do make good money because all the money comes to the truck. We actually make really good money. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, I think it's just more of a perspective of how to, how to manage and have a life yep. while also being in trucking. And, and, and honestly, your video, like I, I, you know, keep going back to that one on the beach. That was very profound for me. Um, oh because, yeah yeah because you know because i i lived it you know and i look back on it now man and i think of some of the stuff i was doing man running i had weeks where i'd run 6,500, 7,000 miles that's a thousand miles a day yeah you know, that's, and we, whew, that's all we that's just cool. finished uh we just had a so we did a six thousand mile week and a seven thousand mile week right before coming home yeah and it, that was just two weeks and it was like no i no, <laughs> yeah. we were just not yeah no i'm glad I mean, you were we going home still, yeah, if yeah. you have a student, you know, you kind of get in this rhythm and the student wants the miles because they need to get out of TNT. Correct, yep. You know, and you want to get them out of TNT, there's bonuses and all that good stuff. So you kind of you gear yourself for that. But when you're just running a team truck and that's your situation, you got to be really careful because I, I see it all the time. That Now, certain couples can do it. They're just, you know, they, that's just what they, they're machines. But I see a lot of teams burn themselves out really fast trying to chase that five thousand dollar check a week. Um, but then all of a sudden, you know, four weeks into it, like me, if we do that for two or three weeks, I got Tourette syndrome. <laughs> you know, I'm flying a single finger salute to every four wheeler that goes by. Nice. I hate the company that I work for. I want to run my truck off the road. You know, <laughs> so it's it's you got to be really careful, and and we're. We took those words um, of advice uh, to heart, and we run our truck that way. And I hope that that comes through in our channel and our content. Um, be all roses. You're not going to be constantly pulling over and checking out new bistros and coffee shops. You don't get that. But at the same time, if you're smart about the way you run the truck, you can still have a life. Um, and we want that to come through in our content. Yeah, and that's that's important. And. I'm, I'm going to watch it because I'm curious how you guys do with that because it can be tough. It can, I was out there. I know it can be tough, right? Yeah. Because, you know, you you start getting wore out and you all of a sudden they send you that, you know, that $3 mile run that goes 900 miles and, you know, 14 hours and then you jump on it, you know. And so it's, <laughs> it, it's just, well, it, it, it you, is what it is. The thing that's helped us the most is uh, load choice. We got load choice. Uh, 
Oh, okay. So how is that, well, how is that working for you guys? Oh, it has dramatically changed everything for us. We make better money, um, and it's not we don't choose our loads based on the money. We choose them based on what works for us. And is that load going to get us somewhere we want to go? Does it have a little bit of time on it? Because we don't like to be crunched all the time. Um, so we, it's it, it is really profoundly changed the way we run the truck because. There's never a surprise. One of the things that frustrated me the most about being pre-planned or uh, having sales proposed loads is you'd be sitting at a shipper or receiver and you wouldn't know, well, should I go try to find a place to park? Or should I go 30 miles on the other side of Dallas yep. to where there's a yep. truck to start wash where I can get a wash yep. out? And, and if I do that, am I risking having to go 30 miles back the other direction when they actually do propose a load? And load choice takes that element of surprise completely out of it. Have that's you made cool. a video about load choice yet? Because that's yet. that's the video, brother. I'm telling you, make that video, make not that yet. video, now, man. And I tell you, it. it uh, I don't want to. Sp I'm not speaking negatively. I love kind of pieces, you know. Constructively <laughs> uh, criticizing, I think, mm -hmm. is is fair. Is is you know, totally. Pr it's proper to do so. Yeah, it's appropriate. Yeah, I agree. To me. Um, I think all drivers should have low choice. I, now that I'm on the side of having low choice and I look back, I think it was a little bit unfair to us to not have it. Um, and I'm not one to say, hey, you know, life, it, like life's not fair. I'm not saying, how dare you not be fair to us, you know? Yeah, I understand. It, yeah. Does, it does give you some, um, some advantages. If you run it right now, some drivers out there are not running it right. They're just looking for the $3 a mile load. But then that lands them somewhere where they're going to sit for three days. Correct. Um, so yeah. yeah. You have to be really smart about it. Um, but I think it helps you run your truck more efficiently. It helps the way your truck is being run be more custom to you. I have a hard time sleeping while we're driving. So we like to try and make it so that we have loads where I can sleep a couple hours between drives, at least if I need to. Yep. You know, if I didn't get full sleep, well, I can have the truck stop and sleep for three or four hours and then roll. So you can kind of customize the way you run your truck to your needs with load choice. Whereas before you, you know, before we had that, we couldn't. We were we were starting to turn down more and more loads, especially the way the freight is running these days. Um, and that was causing, you know, some frustrations with sales because they're like, well, what the heck? You know, we're trying to get your load, and we keep saying, yeah, but we don't want to do three thousand miles in three days going to California, you know, it's, you yeah. can't keep doing that back to back. So it makes it more so that when you want to run hard, you can run hard. And when you want to kind of chillax a bit, catch up on some sleep, take some time, downtime, you can do that. Um, hang out on crazy bags, Twitch. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hang out with me. Yeah. That's always a lot of fun. Um, when you guys are there, that is. And and you guys spend some time at home, too, which is really nice. What you were saying, you know, you're not out there killing yourselves. You actually have a little bit of a life. Oh, absolutely. We, we take probably good. more home time than, uh, than a lot of trucks. So we Every 21 to 25 days, we'll, we'll take a full week. Um, that's really and, nice. That's really smart. Really smart. Yeah. yeah. That, that is. And it doesn't, you know, and, and some people say, well, you're missing out on so much money. Yeah, but that money comes at a cost. You know, it's, yes, it, it does. Yeah, I agree. It does. Yeah. And, and we, we'd rather health, your health alone, you know, from the lack of sleep and you end up with high blood pressure. And I mean, there's so many things that it affects you health wise if you run like yeah. that constantly without that break. Yep. And I know it's easier for us to say that because we can run three weeks, make 10 grand you know, because all Correct. the, then all the yep. money comes to the truck. Everybody, the money comes to the truck. Correct. So if you're having to pay a co-driver or a student, obviously your situation is going to be a little different. But if this, if this conversation is more about team couples. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is more just about how you guys are running a, a team truck as a couple, you know, cause I, that's, yeah. I've always been kind of mindset of, I think that if, if there's any couples out there trucking, right and they're not totally independent contract they're not owned straight owner operators if they're driving for somebody else and they're not at prime i think they're making a mistake in my opinion and i obviously i don't know every company out there um i was on the road for 14 years so i know a little bit about what people make at each company you know i've talked to a lot of drivers i've done research um but i've always felt 
that if you're a married couple or a couple and you are running trucks together, you should be at Prime Inc. And same thing with training students. If you're a, if you're an over the road truck driver trainer, there's and you're not at Prime Inc. You're doing it wrong, in my opinion. That's just me. Absolutely, there are so many. I mean, just off the top of my head, she's a company director, so she brings the benefits to the truck. Uh, I can pay her more per mile, which takes or tax less. liability off of me. Or he can pay me, pay me less. <laughs> my way. allowance. Yeah, um, and and she gets to be a company driver on a truck that's not forced dispatch. You know, she can. Yeah, that's her. that's got to be nice. We can we can stop the truck wherever we want. We can, she's you know there's there's so many advantages to doing that, um, and I agree with you. I don't see why you would drive anywhere else. I mean, there's the the revenue to the truck at Prime. You know, people there's thousands of videos out there. Prime's charging eleven hundred dollars a week to you know lease a truck. Yeah, but but to us, if we only do six thousand to seven thousand a week in revenue, we feel like we're at the low end, you know, and I don't know if there's too many companies that can say that. I mean, Correct. The revenue... Yeah. The revenue is high. You get high revenue when you're running percentage and see, that's another reason people ask me all the time, Hey, how come you're not back on the road? And I'll be honest with you. Part of it is the opportunities I had that came my way immediately were all per mile opportunities. And I had told myself after running percentage at prime, it's hard to ever want to do that again. Yeah, I, we we're not chasing miles, and I got nothing against company trucks. You know, they, they we just had a conversation with a flatbed driver while waiting to go through the plaza. He was coming in to upgrade to lease because he was just so worn out chasing and three thousand miles. He just had a baby. He just had yeah. a baby like the week before, and was like, "I can't be chasing miles with a baby at home." Yeah, and he's a solo, guys, just a solo yeah. driver, huh? That's a shame. Yeah. yeah so when I was a solo driver, I did uh, 20, about 2,300 miles a week. I remember a video you did a long time ago where you said, um, I see these comments saying, bags, you're not getting the miles. And you say, well, I don't have to. Yeah, and, yeah, I don't need them. Yeah, why would you run 3,000 yeah, miles yeah. if you can yep. only run 2,300? Yeah. And, make, and make video. more, and make more, and, you know? I mean, right. I, look, I, I used to run 3,500 miles a week at KLM on a Tyson dedicated account. I made more money at Prime running 22 to 2300 miles a week than I ever made at KLM running 3500. Yeah. Not only do I not have to run the miles, I don't want to. <laughs> you know, we try to run as few miles as possible and maximize our revenue. Correct. That's what you have to do. That's the only way to do it. That's that's and if you don't, well, then you're doing it wrong. So you guys are definitely doing it right in my opinion. So what kind of what kind of content should we expect from you on this uh, YouTube channel you got coming up? Driver lineup um well by trade i actually am a filmmaker um i was an executive producer for a substantial documentary i mean it was you know low budget we spent about two hundred thousand dollars so it's not in film industry it's that's a little budget. bit of money that's still a lot of money <laughs> it, to me it's a lot of money in the film yeah. industry it's not a lot of money but it has it was a feature-length documentary it's been seen almost a half a million times um and so I'm very good behind the scenes, piecing together stories. I, I have Final Cut Pro, Apple Motion, um, you know, all, I'm very good at piecing that together. I'm not good in front of the camera. I don't like to be in front of the camera. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to see how we kind of figure that one out. Um, but so, I, you're gonna, so you're gonna be doing a lot of the recording. Jenna's gonna be doing a lot of the starring roles. Hopefully, she's she's not comfortable in front of the camera either. So it's a it's going to be a big adjustment for us. But I think um, telling stories in more with more of an emotional connection. You know, there's a lot of a lot of guys and gals who sit behind the wheel and look at the camera and tell pretty good pieces of the story of what Prime is. Um, what we want to do is is probably less of those and, and less videos generally, but spend an extra few days at Rees across America, you know, maybe do a 34 hour reset and really dive into that whole operation, you know, of, because Rees across America is a perfect example. And I know you did one of those loads not too long. Yeah, ago. I did one last year and it, it, you're right, man. It, what a great experience that was. Everybody up there is on the same mission. And their mission is to honor our fallen heroes. And, um, you know, so, so we really want to kind of dive into these, even, even just uh, 
little things like uh, I posted in the video of how to get a frozen reefer cap off of the tank. You know, and <laughs> I found a fuel filter clamp that you used to uns unscrew a fuel fil uh, filter on the truck. Oil filter. 12 bucks. Oil yeah, filter. yeah, yeah. Uh, and it worked. Air filter. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> well, you can tell a pretty good story behind that, especially when there was three grown men at a f Flying J in a snowstorm trying to get this thing off, you know, <laughs> and, and, uh, and back to that Tourette's thing, and you a $12 know. tool solves the problem, you know, yeah. <laughs> so there's a wide range of, of stories that I, I think having a, uh, a history and being able to make more of an emotional connection to that story. That's what I'm looking forward to. I don't want to do a whole lot of little videos. There's tons of that out there. I'd rather spend a little more time creating stories around. Yeah, and uh, and and that's the thing I was going to say. You know, there's a lot of people who are very successful putting out one good story a week. You know, if yeah. you just if you just make one good story a week, you know, you have all week to make it. You know, depending on what you're doing, whether it's a a three thousand mile journey across the country, and take your time and do it right. I mean, that's really all you need. Um, to capture an audience that that one good story a week yeah and that's that's our goal and plus we don't want to commit to doing trying to do videos every day or every two or three days because then you feel compelled to meet and exceed that commitment i don't want to feel obligated to have to because there's some days where you don't want to see <laughs> where i'm at mentally you know and i don't want prime to see where i'm at mentally <laughs> So I don't there are there are days. Trust me, you guys know I I stream multiple times a week, and there are days that um, I don't stream, and and I still go to work. And then when people go, I what happened? I'm like, oh, I just didn't work. Well, no, I really worked. I just didn't stream because I just wasn't wasn't there mentally to do it. You know what I mean? So I get it. I get it. And other people who stream, I'm sure they get it. I mean, it. it yeah. You have to be, you have to be in a certain mindset, and if you're not in that mindset, you're this. It, the video or stream is not going to be good, anyways, right? Yeah. And so, why waste the time? So it's just better just to just to take on your day and then worry about that specific subject later on. It would be the thing. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. So let's 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 wrap this up so we can keep the video short. So driver lineup is the channel name. And I can't let you go without getting your referral code again from you guys to get it out there to uh, potential drivers coming in. If you're looking to come to Prime, there is no reason why you should not have a driver referral code on your application when you fill it out. There are plenty of people out there who produce content about Prime Inc. for you to get a driver referral code. But what's your guys's? B-A-J-E-N-N. -N. It's B-A-J-E-N-N. -N. And if you use that code, we can see your code. So we know, and, and, and you know, we make it an objective. Right now, we have a couple referrals, and we, we, we try to communicate and find out who they are. So you're not just lost out there. You know, we know that, mm -hmm. that, you, that you used us as a referral. And so, you know, we'll try to connect with you at some point in the future. We, we want to... We, we want to have, try to have a relationship there. So. You want to build a family. And that's what I would. That's Absolutely. what I was doing when I was there, um, and I think that's so important. And I was able to do that. And so, and I have drivers tell me, who came in in the last couple of years while I was at Prime, they're like, "Man, it's so different now that you're gone and you're not making YouTube content." And so, there's a void. There is a void there, and ho I'm hoping you guys fill it because I think it's important and. It brought the, it brought around a really great atmosphere to Prime, I think, and to see you guys stepping, trying to step into that role and take that, I, I man, I hope you guys just launch everything you can, man, your YouTube channel, your blog, you know, a social media network, and and build that family that I think will help people be successful because they have each other to lean on, and I think that's very important for people. Well, and it's just so, I don't know, it's just so. Uh interesting to me that you know just back when eric started he came to prime because he watched your videos you know you were his driver driver referral correct and, yep you know yeah and i and i learned uh i remember laying there for hours before going to orientation i i, I learned my pre-trip off your videos 
Yep. Um, I saw backing with Stefan. You remember that? Oh yeah. There's, oh yeah. There's snow out there on the pad. Yeah, me and Chad, me and Chad Rich were both out there at the same time. I think at that night. Yeah, yeah and it was and, snowing and, and uh, icing. So I never actually met you, but you're right. I felt a connection that you know the entire time that you were at Prime. Yep. Because yep. um, we were all rowing the boats in the same direction. We're all we're all going through the same challenges together. Yep. We're all learning things together. We're sharing our experiences with each other. So it was really neat to to be there as before orientation, going through orientation, watching you while I was a prime driver, and now being on your channel as a CEO yeah on yeah, and it's awesome, man. I I really it's, this it's has been cool. great. Yeah, this has been great. It's it's a, it's an awesome journey you had. And I'm I'm looking forward to seeing it as you share the, as you guys move on, and and continue to do better things. Um, that's going to be really cool. So I'm I'm definitely going to be a viewer. Definitely going to be a viewer. So <laughs> you, you viewed my you... channel. You viewed my channel when you came to Prime. Now I'm going to be viewing yours as you're working at Prime. So now I got to tell you one more thing before you go. I am a diehard Cubs fan, and I was actually at Game Two and Six. Uh, before the World Series, when they won the World Series. At, oh, wow, nice. Uh, yeah, actually scored tickets, it was at Wrigley, and it was a magical moment. Oh, yeah, I bet, man. Match. Yeah, I bet. It's, yeah. it's good stuff. Hard to be a Cubs fan now, but... <laughs> no, no, it's not right now. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. They're doing they're doing pretty well right now, so... Yeah, but it's not as easy to go sit in Wrigley. You know, no, you can't do anything right now, thanks to COVID. So, so it's anyway, hard to do anything. Cubs. Yeah, go Cubs, go Cubs. All right, y'all take care, be safe, be well. You too, thanks, man. Thanks.